Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So something a little bit different to unbox today. In here are a couple of gorgeous pots from Paul Rogers Ceramics. I shall put a link to Paul's website in the description below. Please go over and take a look. He has some stunning pots for sale. Lots of different designs to choose from and expertly made. Now I ordered what's called a crackle pot. Absolutely love how these ones look. Many of you know I mainly use plastic pots for my plants, and when it comes to ceramic pots I am kind of fussy about that. But when it comes to designs like this I'll make an exception, they're stunning. Paul also messaged me on Instagram and said he's put an extra pot in here as well, very kind of him. No idea what that one looks like, but we'll find out when we get this box open. I'd just like to apologise as well if you notice spots on the top of my hands. I wore some rubber gloves yesterday and had a bad allergic reaction to them came out in a nasty rash that itched like crazy. So yeah, apologies for that because they look pretty gnarly at the moment. Oh wow, I think we've actually got three pots in here. So Paul has included two extra ones. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Paul. Now I'm even more excited to see what we got. Right, we'll start with what looks like the smallest one of the three. All very nicely and securely packaged to prevent any damage in transit. I think this one is a crackle pot as well. Awesome. Wow, what a gorgeous looking pot that is. Absolutely love the design on these. Love the earthy tone colours as well. I'm not a fan of brightly coloured pots, much prefer darker ones. These do have drainage holes as well. Stamped underneath as well. Thank you Paul, that's a gorgeous pot and I've already got an idea of what plant will be going into this one. Right, second pot. Feels larger and heavier this one. Just have to mention again how well these have been wrapped up. Plenty of bubble wrap, so no chance of them breaking. We're getting there. Ah, oh, this one is stunning. Crackle design again, but I absolutely love the rim on this one. Like it's melting down the side of the pot. Got some cards here. Crackle Pot Specialist. Paul has an Instagram and a Facebook page as well, I think, so I'll put links to those in the description as well. But yeah, back to this stunning pot. I actually did have my eye on this one as well, but the last one we unwrap is the one I bought, so again, Paul has kindly sent this one as a free gift. Right, last one, and this is the one I got specifically for one cactus that I think will look awesome in it. If it fits, that is. <laughs> Hopefully it will. It looks stunning already. I had my eye on this one for a little while, and then Paul had it on special offer. So I thought, right, that's my cue to get it before someone else snaps it up. These pots just ooze quality. The look and feel to them. And they're not light pots either. They have a fair bit of weight to them. Wow, look at that. Just stunning. Again, that crackle design. And an awesome looking rim on this one as well. Another card there. Made in Wales, these pots. But I think Paul does ship worldwide. But yeah, gorgeous pot. Just love the rim on this one. Stamped underneath again, and 2021, so I guess Paul made this one last year. Just stunning. Can't wait to get plants into all of these, which we will be doing in this video as well. So that's the three absolutely gorgeous crackle pots from Paul Rogers Ceramics. Absolutely top-notch quality. I shall definitely be buying more of these in the future. 
And thank you so much, Paul, for the two free ones. Very kind of you to include those. And both of them being crackle pots as well. Did not expect that. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for everything from the packaging, price, delivery time to the pots themselves. Right, let's get some plants into them. So I'm thinking this Echinoceras rigidissimus will look nice in one of the extra pots we got. Not sure which one yet. We'll get it unpotted and depending on how the roots are, we'll see which one it fits into best. This plant is long overdue a repot as well. It's been in this pot and same mix for a good three years now and definitely deserves a nice pot. I think with the colour of this plant it'll be a nice contrast. Just check inside the pot for beasties. Always good to check for them when you're repotting. So yeah, this is my old mix I used to use with the cat litter and grit. So it'll be nice to get this into my regular mix. Just gonna clean all the old mix away from the roots. This is something I like to do when a plant is going into a completely different mix. I like to get as much of the old mix off the roots as possible. Again, it's a good opportunity to check for pests. You never know what might be lurking inside the root ball. Although it's not been too bad for pests so far this year. Just spider mites and recently some thrips in the greenhouse, which is a bit annoying. Pests that could be lurking inside the root ball though are things like root mealybug or vine weevil grubs. Things that like to munch away at the roots. Yeah, nice roots on that. Not bad for being in the same pot and soil for three years. Right, I think this will look the best in the smaller pot. The other two are a bit large. And as I said, the third one we unboxed, I got specifically for one plant. Put a little bit of mesh over the drainage hole. A little bit of mix in there. So yeah, the mix I'm using is four equal parts of John In's number two compost, pumice, kiodama, and zeolite. In the previous unboxing video, I mentioned I'm using the zeolite instead of lava rock, as I only have enough of that left for top dressing. Using our trusty skewer as always to pick that mixture down. Right, that's the first one done. We'll top dress them all at the end. Right, for the next pot I'm thinking this Corypanther clump will look quite nice. This is another plant that's been in this pot for a couple of years now, again in my old soil mix. So it needs a repot anyway. Yeah, definitely wanting a repot. So same thing again using the skewer, just going to remove all the old mix away from the roots. Nice healthy roots again. mesh over the drainage hole again. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty nice in here. I did want a clumping plant in one of the pots, so I think this one is a good choice. Definitely got a bit more room to grow in here and should be good for a year or two. Right, last one, this super lethal Neopateria pygmaea. I think this one will look pretty awesome in the final pot. Right, because this plant is so lethal and impossible to grab, I'm going to use some large tweezers with some bubble wrap on the ends to grip it with. 
Let me just grab my skewer quick. So yeah, no chance of getting bitten doing it this way. And the bubble wrap will protect the spines as well. So like the other two, this plant has been in this pot a while, again in my old mix. Looks pretty good again though. This might be a bit of a tight squeeze in that pot. Diameter is good, but this pot it was in is a bit deeper than the ceramic pot. Should be okay though. Very nice healthy roots again. And we should be good with this fitting into the new pot. Just. <laughs> Bit of mesh once again so we don't lose all our mix through the drainage hole. So yeah, it's a bit of a tight fit. Pot could have done with being a couple more centimetres deeper and maybe a centimetre wider. Should still look pretty nice in here though. Right, I've taken the bubble wrap off. We'll make it easier getting the mix in there. So yeah, this plant recently set seed. I crossed it with Neopateria lanoseps. So the offspring could look pretty interesting. Already sown the seeds and they've already germinated. I'll show those in a future seedling update video. Right, let me remove the tweezers, see if she stands up on her own. Add a bit more mix. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome in that pot. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's finish them all off nicely with some top dressing. So yeah, it's definitely going to be lava rock for the top dressing. Matches the pot nicely. That's the Aquino series finished. Now the other two. That looks pretty awesome in that pot as well. Area. They all look awesome in these pots, but this one is definitely my favourite of the three. And as always, I'll show some nice footage of all three at the end on the turntable. So, three absolutely stunning crackle pots from Paul Rogers Ceramics. Plants look fantastic in them. I'll definitely be getting more in the future. I've got several other plants that would look awesome in this style of pot. Many thanks to Paul once again. Remember links to his website and his social media pages will be in the description below. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You all be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam pot ba'alam. Bye for now.